Hello. I am Crydret, level 275 Blaster, and I am going to be talking about the macro that I use for MapleStory. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of questions about this. Uh, it's kind of a taboo subject when discussing blasters. Um, but as most people who would know me from Reddit or in Discord, I don't hide the fact that I use a macro file to play Blaster. In fact, I advocate for it publicly on Reddit quite a bit. Um, why I believe that I'm qualified to talk about this is uh, I was the first 275 Blaster in MapleStory GMS. There could be a massive asterisk next to that as some believe that I was able to reach that easier than others because I use a macro file and there is absolutely some truth to that I believe um, so first 275 blaster in GMS asterisk it's perfectly acceptable um, people have asked me in the past uh, to share my macro file and in the past I said no uh, why am I changing my mind now well, in the past, um, I always believed that if you give away a piece of software, it is your duty to support that piece of software. Um, that's not going to be the case here, and I don't care anymore. Um, another reason why I didn't want to give it out is because Nexon is a terrible company at ma monitoring their game. There's a lot of things that they do and say that they don't act on until it becomes a problem. I didn't want to give away this macro file and then have a thousand little blasters running around and then finally tip the scales and Nexon then went and said, oh, well, that's it, no more macroing. And then everybody either gets banned or you, know, you lose functionality. I didn't want that. Now that I don't really play MapleStore anymore, I don't care. Um, terms of service, what the terms of service says and versus what Nexon does are two very different things, okay? Terms of service, I'm not gonna read them verbatim, but it essentially says robot play with or without the user present is a bannable offense. Now you can translate that to however you wish. Um, I personally believe that there are lots of things that people do in the game right now that co would constitute as robotic play. Um, you could say the uh, sticky keys for playing Kana could be considered robot play because no human is going to be able to mash two buttons at the exact same time at light speed which is what this macro also does. It takes something and performs it perfectly in a way that a human would either find difficult or downright impossible to achieve. That would be constituted as robot play. Uh, versus what Nexon does, um, I actually have a snip here from a previous CM back in 2021 when I talked to him about this specifically. Um, I gave him the long of short of what I do with my macro, which well, I will explain in a bit. And he came back with this. The subject of macros is obviously a gray area because of how they are maliciously used by botting and everybody knows this. Using macros has always been an at your own risk thing. At your own risk. It's very important there. Some macro programs are outright banned for use and will be detected by the anti-cheat. I'm sure that many players still use macros, you included, myself, but it remains a turn a blind eye kind of topic for us since we regulate it to deal with malicious use, but try to avoid innocuous use by players. So what I believe my use case is, is innocuous. But again, as I said before, I didn't want to hand this out to everybody and suddenly it becomes classified as malicious and then banned. Okay. I use a macro program called Auto Hotkey. 
it is a scripting language on top of, I believe, C Sharp. So I guess that makes me a script kitty in the eyes of whoever. Um, pros and cons. Using a macro versus not using a macro. Let me be very clear on this. The macro does several things very well and very um, reliably. Okay, you're going to be able to do shotgun punching and no reload comboing and not move a millimeter reliably. What it does not do very well is anticipate and dodge using bobbing and weaving. You are essentially going to lose all functionality of bobbing and weaving uh, if you use this macro. Does that matter? No. I am a liberated blaster and I was able to liberate just fine and go through several black mage runs uh, without the use of bobbing and weaving. Um, most classes do not have the mobility that a blaster has and can manage to survive just fine without that mobility and blaster is no different. Most attacks in this game you can get by simply walking left or right and or flash jumping. So the loss of bobbing and weaving is not a huge deal. That being said, this macro will raise the skill floor of playing blaster, but also lower the skill ceiling. Using this macro, you will not be as good as someone who does not use this macro and is just better at playing blaster. Um, if people put in the time to learn how to use bobbing and weaving effectively, they will be better than you. 100%. Do not mistake that at all. This is the lazy man's way to play Blaster. I am a lazy person and spent a lot of time perfecting the ability to be lazy at playing Blaster. So, I play on a controller. I use a program called XPatter. There's my setup. I have never been able to get anybody else to be able to install XPatter properly on their machine. I don't know why it works for me and why it doesn't work for others, but there are many other controller to key binding programs out there, whether it be XPatter, Joy to Key, Anti Micro, or even just Steam can do it just fine. So pick a program that works best for you. That's not really the uh, important part here. So things that this macro can do, I'm going to go through the code one function at a time and show you exactly uh, what it does here. So obviously don't touch the first couple of lines. All that does is it's setting the speed of the macro and making it so it can actually see the MapleStory window. Uh, next, you set the keys that you want to trigger your macros. So your no reload combo I have set to numpad zero and so on and so on and so on. After that, these are the keys that correlate to your skills in game. My keys make absolutely no sense because I use a controller and it doesn't matter. If you guys are going to use this as a keyboard, you probably want to make these a little easier to understand for yourselves. Don't touch these. It's actually creating custom hotkeys. Don't worry about it. All right. Quality of life thing. First off the bat, I made a left and right spam because my hands suck and I'm old and I can't mash left and right fast enough to get out of petrify. So... I made a macro that helps me with that. And I only had to hold down a button and it would spam left and right and get me out. Despite, next, the despite Bunker Buster being a single key, this does need to be a combo button that you create and will you'll that will be made apparent next. No reload combo, okay? The no reload combo holds down bobbing presses magnum, presses double, releases bobbing, and presses jump. Super simple. You can mess with the timing here. 
Okay, then what's all of this nonsense? Well, there are combos that we can do with this. So, for instance, if shotgun punch is held during no reload combo, you will slide forward a bit. Let me demonstrate that. Oh, side note, you need max stacks to be able to do all of these things because the timing is very specific. So that's another con against this. If you're just doing no reload combo without max stacks, you're going to look like a sucky blaster until you get up to about eight or nine. Then you're going to be performing your combo appropriately. Notice how you don't move. This is one of the benefits of doing macroing. Okay, you will not move. Now, what I mean by if you press your shotgun punch combo button while doing no reload combo, you'll scoot. It puts a slight delay b between the bobbing release and the jump. So while you do will not have the millimeter precision control of bobbing and weaving, you can use this in certain situations. I found it very situational to use most of the time just walking back and forth was fast enough. But for enemies such as Lotus, hate the guy, this was absolutely necessary for me to not get just blasted across the screen into a truck. Um, the next thing in the code for the no reload combo, you'll see that uh, you can press the bunker 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 buster combo button. This sets a flag so that the next optimal time to press bunker bunk buster during your no reload combo, it will trigger that. Let me build up stacks. So you're doing your no reload combo and you tap the bunker buster button. It will bunker buster perfectly. It sometimes messes up one bullet that time it didn't so you can weave in bunker busters into your no reload combo without worrying about interrupting yourself or throwing off the macro the other thing you can do is if you're holding down the hammer smash button it will perform a bunker hammer smash combo. Just like that. Moving on. Shotgun punch combo, easy enough to understand. Shotgun Punch is actually easier to build up stacks. Um, I combine Shotgun Punch with uh, putting Jump on Rapid Fire. And it makes for easy training. All you have to do is tap left or right. And you will Shotgun Punch just fine. Next one is Bullet Blast. Very easy to understand. It presses and holds the bullet blast button and then mashes the revolving cannon button very quickly. I'm just holding down one button. And then when you release that button, it releases the skill. Um, the last thing here was a failed attempt at doing a no reload hammer smash. It looked like it worked to me. But when I did um, battle analysis, the damage numbers were never what other people said I should be getting. Everybody was saying it was supposed to be like 14 to 18% more damage, uh, so long as you were not using Rocket Punch, I believe. Um, and I never got the damage numbers to be that high, in fact. My no reload hammer smash was always worse. So if you want to mess with that, you can mess with that. And that's it. I'm going to put this um, in my Dropbox and throw it into the description of this video. If you guys want it, you can have it. If you want to screw around with it, you can. Don't ask me where to get auto hotkey. 
if you're not smart enough to do that, you don't deserve this macro to begin with. Uh, I am not some Giga Chad blaster guy that's telling you how to play. I am a lazy, nearly 40-year-old man who just wanted to play MapleStory. So that's it. See ya.